can you spare can you spare some time to talk right now? Um <coughs> what's that? Yeah. about is just to acknowledge that these are shared areas in this building and no one of us has the right to, to dominate it and control it with, with all the personal stuff the way you have. So can we try to work out some arrangement or divide in the space? Yeah, like, well, what, well, so there are common areas, but you want to divide the space. It doesn't make any sense. Well, no, I, I mean, but essentially you... You've unloaded all of of your stuff and taken over pretty much every common area in the, in this building without consulting me or the owner, if if we minded. Um, the owner's so. been here plenty of times, and I've shown her everything that I've done, and she told me to do it. So I mean, so you can bring it up with her if you fucking think that it's not supposed to be done. And I haven't even touched. I haven't touched anything of your area, or whatever you think is your area, but it's not really your area. But it's supposed to be both of our area. But I'm not supposed to touch anything there. So, um, that but right underneath your window, there's nothing there. There's not a single thing there. I mean, I've learned that like touching anything, I, you know, like an inch is like not supposed to happen. So, um, so I just haven't, you know, haven't put anything there. No, I, I, I do appreciate that. So that you haven't. So pretty much every area there, hasn't been fucked with because I haven't touched anything over there. I left that all well, alone. Yeah. Okay, well, essentially, we need to, we need to talk about your plans for the front yard, and the side and and the side walkway, and the back door that we share. Yeah, that's well, what it comes down to. You mean my front door? Well, that that we need to talk about too, and the and the, and the shared laundry. Right. Well, I know. Well, you talk to her about it, and then I you did. then and then when? Two days ago. Two days ago? Yes. Have Have you talked to her? Yeah, I've before? talked to her. Yeah. And, and she said, and "What did she say about about the the laundry? That you have your own hookups, and that she needs to talk to you about it because you have your own, and therefore you can use that room as your own." Well, so that's completely opposite of, of what we talked about. How I asked her, I said, "Does he have hookups in his place in the, in that laundry room?" She said, yes, and she said, "That's the way she used to have it when she used to live there, and she used to live yes. on both places." Da, 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 but that's not the way it is. That's not the what it's meant for. She put in two different... I mean, it's like common sense would tell. Obviously, if there's there's one unit has one and the other unit has another, no, you no, don't no. just get to have both. I mean, it's, that, I it's mean, both. It's, it's, yes, it why, is. You get to you because you get to have a laundry room and mine. <laughs> it's not a laundry room. It's it's, it's it has it's a washer a, and dryer hookup in it. Door it's an extra room for your laundry. That's what it was out. intended for. That's the whole purpose. That's that's yeah. That's the that's the whole that's the whole intent. You don't just get a, you don't just get the same exact square footage and pay five hundred dollars less. You have two bedroom apartment. Yeah. That's that's the that's with no the laundry room, bed. and you have a one bedroom apartment with a laundry room. Yes, that's that's, that's how it works. I mean, that's like what well, that's how places are designed. Like that's how logic. I mean, you don't just get the same exact square footage as I do. But this place is designed as as a as duplex, you uh, as a duplex. With yeah. A front door that we a share. one bedroom and a two bedroom. Okay. And that, a back door. You that don't we get share. to have the same square footage with a one bedroom. Okay. It's, that doesn't make it sense. It has nothing to do with square footage. Um, you have your own laundry room. Plain and simple. The, look, if if the if the owner had told me from the day I walked in, this is your la this is for your laundry and this is for the upstairs laundry, that would be one thing. But that's not what she told. It, she on numerous occasions she talked about how I I think it would be a good good idea if you put your refrigerator here and look I I installed this one isn't this a nice place for a laundry room that that will and she was talking about putting in a washer and dryer herself that would be shared okay but like that's a nice yeah that's a great I mean that's a great idea hypothetically for herself when she lived there she but is. but she doesn't live there it's there are two different people live there now why would they share why would they why would I have to share my laundry room with somebody when they have their own I mean, you why does it matter to you so much? Because, like, I want my own front door and I want my own privacy. I want my own things. I don't well, want to be. I don't want to have to be like I'm constantly sorry, but like. This is, but this is a rental duplex building where. We yeah, and you get yours house. and I get mine. I don't. I never. Never once it would. It doesn't even make sense. Like, never have I ever had a unit that like just shares things and like. Just, you mean like? Well, that's, and that's and I can't go in your. Answer, I can't so go in your time. laundry room, but you can go in mine. I mean, go figure. <laughs> I mean, that makes no sense at all. Wow. And I asked her about it, and she said she would talk to you about it. 
So I mean, I guess I'll call her again, and when she comes yes. by, I'll have her talk to you, talk to you again. Because I mean, because I mean, that's not what she said. That's not what she said to me like two days ago. Okay, well, what uh, what did she say to you about about all this? Uh, nothing. Okay. Well, well, may I propose? Sure. Um, I just, I mean. Well, I mean, it, it only it only looked like hell before, but I mean, like, but that, but I mean, but whatever. Okay. I mean, if you ha if you have plans for, uh, for oh, the, all the neighbors mm -hmm. asked me, like, oh, thank God you're doing some of the art. It was hideous before. Thank, thank God you're finally doing something with it because that was so sad when they came and they tore everything out. So I mean, so obviously, again, logic would only assume that, like, obviously putting down grass or something like with the yard would be, uh, would be tolerable. And I it's sorry if they were all put in here at once in the beginning, but it's taking, you know, it's, they're really extremely heavy. So are mm -hmm. the couches and stuff like that. And I'm only one person. I can't move the shit upstairs and if I can't move need, it down. If you need help with, with moving things. You well, that's why my friends are here all the time to help me like move shit. Uh -huh. And so it's like, it takes a little while to get it all in. Mm -hmm. And then when you complain about everywhere I put stuff, well then I don't know where else to put it. So it's like, if it stays, I mean, if right there is one spot then, but down there is not a good enough spot because I'm taking over that. So it's, there really, there's no good spot for it then. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so I've well, tried. I've tried to put things in discreetly as possible, like, or just somewhere. But I mean, I can't just throw away all my plants. I mean, like, you know, what I mean, like, I don't know. So I've tried to put them around and away according to like the their what they like, the light and shit like that. I can't put them all in the dark and mm -hmm. or on the side of the house and stuff because they'll die. But I mean, like, like, like these ones are all gonna go. Those don't plan on staying there. Um, those ones on the hillside are gonna go, mm -hmm. but they're extremely heavy. These ones are gonna go. I think they're both ugly, and I don't think want them there. Mm -hmm. You know, so, but I mean, that's just, like I said, they're extremely heavy and they just landed right there and that's where they stayed because they're freaking, it's like that one cement one right there is really heavy. Okay, but but where ultimately do you do you plan to move them? Because it, it's just, I mean, I look at the, it's a small space and it becomes very, very claustrophobic with, with big It's a small space? It's, what's the, a small space? The entryway and, and the, and the front door. There are but no plants by the entryway really. And there's that one okay. rose bush like sort of near the front door. No, fine, forget, just... Just you know, but please let me know how, where ultimately do you plan to move all these numerous spotted plants? Well, I mean, like, the, well, I mean, like that's, I mean, I, I don't, I haven't got a graph for you or a map and, mm -hmm. or a blueprint of everything because I mean, the, it, it it goes as it goes. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I was trying to put, all, I mean, I was trying to put all the cactuses over there for now just because it gets mm -hmm. the most sun. But I mean, like, and whatever. I mean, like. I was gonna move those two big pots off the edge right there mm -hmm. because, I bet it's taken me a while to get them down to that point even, um, and I, I don't know where that, that was. That orchid's gonna go down to the lower level with all the other orchids, mm -hmm. but it's really heavy, so to get it back there is gonna take me a minute, um, and whatever. She also asked me to put up. A, she also asked me to put in a living wall, hedge that goes all the way down along the border right here along this wall. So I mean, like, and well, I, yeah, and I when think, that happens, I, I mean, think replanting things in the ground is is great and. Um, you know, you've decided to take that on yourself, and, that, and that's fine. Um, but, um, but as far as potted plants sitting sitting on these ledges and, and on the and on the grass, I I don't think it's it looks good. Okay, I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, like mm -hmm. you, you tried moving I, half of them; they're not easy. Again, I'll, I'm open to helping you if if you ask. Um, and the and the big statues. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, I just didn't, I don't know where else to put them. I mean, like, they're, even, like, they're kind of odd, just, like, sitting, like, wh wherever they go, kind of. So, I mean, until, like, I figure out, like, somewhere cool to put them, I mean, like, that's just kind mm -hmm. of where I put them so far. I mean, I don't know. Unless you can think of a place that's better for them. I mean, I don't know. Um, as as far as, as the big statues, if, if you're really attached to them, maybe maybe down on the bottom level of the backyard mm -hmm. um that's about as best as i can think of they're, they're just very <laughs> imposing in right in in the front yard to me and you know granted some of these are, are personal tastes but but you know i mean they're not really they, personal tastes it's yeah. just like they're i mean it's just like i just you know i mean like i don't know i mean i guess like i mean some people like 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 dead or, or like barren or like uh, like non-life like 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 scenery I guess but I mean mm -hmm. so I mean I can make it as desolate as you like I guess um, but I mean it, given what the feedback from like what other people think about the art like 
that's not really what everyone wanted. So, I mean, but I mean, that's not what the general public would want. But I mean, like, but we can make it as desolate as possible, like it was. I mean, it was pretty gross before, but I mean, like, but yeah, I mean, I'll make it. I mean, it's kind of weird, but I mean, yeah, I'll make it as dead as possible, and I can move them all down to the back, and we can just, and then your great yeah. view back there of the the wall of trees, overgrown trees, you can have like statues, I guess. Because somehow looking at them in the back would be more less obtrusive than looking at them when you just walk to the front door. Yeah, which is cool to me. I, I mean, think, like, I think there is definitely space in the backyard for for some of these potted plants, and there's sure and there's, there is. I know. There's space in you know on the patio. Oh, I know. And here, here I know. And here, I can't just like I can't just redo the whole yard overnight. Mm -hmm. I mean, that takes a lot of work. I mean, it's just not easy. Mm -hmm. So I mean, yeah, it takes time. I mean, it, it took me like freaking two weeks just to get into those pots to right there, mm -hmm. and I didn't even do it. I had to th three, two people help me do that, mm -hmm. and even still, moving them down is like a whole another big venture. You know what I mean? Like, the, mm -hmm. and then to get that thing all the way in the back, ugh, is tough. And I don't without breaking them or ruining the plants and shit. It's not mm -hmm. easy. All right. Well, I mean, again, if you need if you need help, I'm I'm willing, and and just you know, please acknowledge that that these are decisions that, that we should make together to some extent. I mean, I'm not, I'm not asking you to, you know, to approve every single individual plant, but, but in general, like, we need to talk. This is the first time I've had a chance to talk to you at length at all since you moved in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so going forward, will you, will you be more communicative? Are you sure? I mean, like, yeah, uh -huh. I mean, yeah. All right. Um, well, then, I mean, I look forward to, to you know, over, over the coming weeks to work out a places for all these plants that will be okay yeah. with both of us. I mean, I've been um, working my ass off doing mm -hmm. it. I mean, like, I have a lot of other things to do, and, but, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm constantly doing shit here, mm -hmm. which is, like, takes up a lot of time. So, I mean, I mean, any normal person would not have this amount of time to, like, to spend on this kind of shit. But, I mean, mm -hmm. but I know it's a lot of my stuff, and so I've been trying to put a lot of effort into getting stuff like you know worked in and put away I mean like like overnight the whole fucking yard will be like different you I mean like all everything's moved and everything's you know redone and shit and like that like it takes a toll to you like fucking my body is like fucked up and shit like I got all these wounds and shit I mean it's just like like so it gets tiring after a while you I mean mm -hmm. but I know it's like my responsibility to like keep you know to keep up on shit but mm -hmm. nothing's ever just like left like like if I leave like something in the middle of the walkway or something it's not just left there because I thought it was a good spot it was left there because like I was Fucking, my back's broken and like, and I just couldn't move anything else, or I have to go to work, or like, I have shit to do. I mean, like, mm -hmm. and that's just where it ended up. I mean, like, but nothing stays there forever. I mean, mm -hmm. like, nothing's ever meant to be like in the way or on purpose. Like, I don't care. I'm saying it's like I'm not retarded. I'm not brain dead. It's like mm -hmm. I understand. Like, obviously that's a bad spot for it. Like, like that's obviously a bad spot for those plants. I mean, like that's not where I put those. Mm -hmm. That's not where I plan to keep those or anything like that. You know, or like, or any. I mean, like a lot of this stuff. I mean, like, like that plant I had over there. Like. I just put it there mm -hmm. because I didn't know where to put it, and it was like I'm moving, like I can't like mm -hmm. I can't like landscape and design stuff like when I'm moving and shit, you know. So it's like stuff just landed where it was, you know. Okay, like in well the can, those cans, they're not obviously going to stay there. They're just there because I can't carry everything in all the way at once. Okay, you know? well, I'm I'm glad to hear it, but um, but you know, and and I hope you know, this w th there there will be no more big pieces of furniture sitting out for for weeks on end from. Yeah, well, from there's nothing. There forward. was nothing there for weeks. There well, was the, the big couch was there for weeks, but it it's because it doesn't fit in the doorway. It's point. It, okay, it, it's it's done. But um, can you tell me what your plans are in in the garage going forward? Well, I mean, since I had to like just move the pieces of furniture like all of a sudden, mm -hmm. not, and because they getting them in the house is too impossible. Mm -hmm. Um, so then I just had to take everything out of the garage and put it all back in there again and stack it all back up. Mm -hmm. So I mean, basically, I mean, ideally, like I want to get everything worked in there, like, all on one side, and, and have things put away, like, normally, and, like, like organized and shit, and those, f the other p big pieces of furniture in there gotta come up still, but, like, trying to find people to help me do that shit's not the easiest thing, you know, um, but I have, like, those, that armoire and the dresser and shit, yeah. like, that, all that stuff's gotta come up upstairs still, and, um, and, uh, and then that'll be, like, a big, huge portion of, like, the blockade and the, the shit all, like, kind of intermingled in, in the way, and then hopefully just get it, I'd, I'd like to put some shelves or something, like, up against the wall, mm -hmm. or up on the wall and stuff, so stuff isn't hanging around everywhere like it is because mm -hmm. it's kind of chaotic and like just like tacky 
Um, not that the garage has to be like pretty or anything, but I mean, no, it but just needs it just to not be, be everywhere. <laughs> it 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 needs if if we are both gonna park there, it needs space for two cars, and we both need equal access to whatever handful of things we have. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I want to get it all like on one side or whatever the mm -hmm. case, just not like everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. But okay, yeah. Okay, but but again, just not having been able to talk to you about it, it's like like I don't know, is it gonna be there permanently? But but, no. but you you do, you you do hope to be able to fit all of the big furniture up in, in oh places. yeah 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 and if not then i'll just sell it or something you mean like uh -huh. or i'll just get rid of it you mean like yeah. or if it's worth money i'll sell it but i mean mm -hmm. otherwise i'll just get rid of it give it to one of my friends but i mean yeah no i don't i don't i don't need to store like a ton of things you know i'm saying like, i don't need like storage for like a bunch of shit mm -hmm. you know like i'd rather just have that for like you know a few things and like and like the garden stuff or whatever you know mm -hmm. so that's i mean really there shouldn't be much in there left at the end of the day it's just trying to get everything in my house and, like, without having my house be, like, a big, huge mess. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, even right now, it's still, like, somewhat messy because, like, I don't even have my dressers up there. Mm -hmm. So my clothes well, are, like, everywhere, you know, yeah. like, all over the table and shit. No, I, I can imagine. It's, I mean, I, yeah, I moved myself for for a, num a number of times, but, but this was, like, the first time I had professional movers in. And it helps. It's expensive, but it, yeah. it, it gets things done. Um, but, and it, yes, I feel for you. That it's a pain. But, um... I mean, okay. Th those are those are the main things I wanted to to bring up. But but the one, but really the the lingering issue is the is the laundry room slash back door, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, my front door. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, we have to we have to have a discussion with. I don't come in the front door. I mean, I can tell you that right now. Look, so I mean, so obviously, you, okay, why would that be hard for you? Were, why would that be hard for you? Why would that be hard for you to understand that I would call it my front door when that's the only key I have, and that's where, and that's the, and that's the way I enter. No, no. Can we try? Sure. Because she told me that this front door key opens that front door. Oh, so that opens that? Yeah. Okay, well, that doesn't open your front door? It shouldn't, but let's try. Because she told me it did. No. That's stupid. Well, she's fucking... Is it must be seen now or something. Cause, she, like, she, she is a little bit. I, I, I grant you. But, but, but look, I mean, now, now you can see it from my perspective. This is our... I mean, just hear it out from my perspective. This, this is our front door. We can both come in. We can, you can go up the stairs. I go into my door. This is... So then you have two door. keys. So then you have two yeah. door keys, though. Yes. But I have one. R really? You're. Oh. Uh, she only gave me one. Oh well. Well then. Well then. That's just. Well look, my, my door key. It can't open yours. I mean, we can. We can well, try it right it, now. Well, but this key does. Yeah, because that's your door. I mean, that, look, look, yours is is M for for master or something. And, and that and opens that. my front door, or that opens my door, my back door, and that back door, and this door. It opens this, this entry and way, both those other and doors. the doors up there, and, and I'm quite sure that mine doesn't open yours. We can test it if you want. So then, like, but how do you have a key to the back door, then? Because if, that's our, because, the, like, this door, this is But this, opens the, this opens the back door, too. What are you talking about, about the, the back, the, the, the door on the ground level? Yeah, and the yes. door upstairs, they're both the not, same key. No, not for me. My, I mean, again, we, we can test it, but mine does not open that door upstairs, nor the door in back upstairs. But this key does? Yes, they're so different keys. Different keys, they don't have multiple keys per door lock. Yeah. Let, let, let's, let's try it. That's the, that's the easiest way to prove this. I mean... Your, yours is marked M2, mine is marked M1, for whatever that means. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what that means. Well, I don't even know if this one opens the front door then either. So that opens that. Yeah, so then, would you like to, to verify that this doesn't open that? Um, sure. I mean, I just don't understand how there could be two keys per lock. You have two keys, though, no, don't you? No, I own. You said you had two keys, though. No, I. This, this is this is my house key. These are my work keys. This, this is the so key. So you only I have you only have one key. And it's the key I use to open this. So then the up door. The, so then that other key upstairs has to be. Then you. Then that one just must. That one must be the only one that like opens. Hmm. 
That, 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 my, that other back door, the, my front door, the fucking uh, the upstairs back door key okay, the, opens with this. Yes, the up, that's, your, that's, your, that's your door, whether you call it the back door or front door, whatever. That's your door. I do, I do not have access to that. I'm, I'm talking about the door on, on the ground level off of this walkway. But it's confusing. As far as I'm concerned, that is our shared back door. I mean, that's, that, that's the way that I, when I want to walk out of the patio, carry, out to the pet, to the backyard carrying a cup of coffee, I walk out that door. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not how she explains it. But I mean. <laughs> it's exactly how she explains it to me. But I, I, but I understand that there's been some confusion. Oh, hush, girl. Hush, mama. So, yeah, I mean, this doesn't make any sense. So then if this key opens this door and then that door, but your key only opens this door. And and that kitchen, leading to my kitchen. But how does it not open the one up there? It, we just showed that it doesn't. It, it's two different keys. But it opens this one down here? Yes. But mine opens this one and that one up there? Yes. So how's my key different? It doesn't open my downstairs door, and, and it does open your upstairs door. And this is one like down here? That we can both open. So so two of the locks are similar and two of the locks are different? Yes, you could put it that way. I mean, or you could put it that, that, that two, two of the doors are shared by both sets of keys, and two of the doors are not. Yeah. They're keyed separately. How does that work with it's one just, key? I don't know the, the the intricacies of lock making. And, and well, I do though, and that's why I don't understand like how that well, would work. It works. We just showed that it does. I mean, you want you want to prove it on on my kitchen door as well? No, I mean like. And look, if you look, I mean, and and again, I I'm sorry that there's been confusion about doorbells, but but you can see how these old yeah door, th this it, this used to be downstairs upstairs yeah just like there there used to be in front downstairs upstairs yeah yeah I mean I understand the, the logic behind that but like but there isn't but they don't work so I mean well, I, so I know, really I, there's I, just look, one I asked when when I first moved in I asked Hortense to to put me in a doorbell um I was it, fix a, a light in the closet, stuff like that, and, and her daughter and and her daughter's husband came and they did this. They, they, they put this in for me. They could do the same for you. Yeah, I just didn't think that that was, like, their responsibility or whatever. But, I mean, um, I was just going to get get one, I guess, because, yeah. I mean, obviously there has to be a way to uh, get a hold of me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, other than that, there's no other way to go to my front door. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, okay, well, I mean, like, yeah, well, I mean, I changed the lock on the door up there anyway, so it's not really, like, the end of the world, because, like, um, okay. because, yeah, I just did, because, like, I don't like the locks that are there, because they're cheap and, point, like, not very good. Um, but, like, I still just don't understand how w w the same key can only work half the locks. Well, well, given given that I've shown that, that that's how it works, do you... Will you acknowledge that that we can share this as as a shared entryway? Well, I mean, as a shared entryway, I mean, like, I like, I mean, I, I guess, but I mean, like, like I said, like, I don't have a window looking in like you, the front, or, like, I, like, this isn't meant to be anybody's private space. It, it, why can't I have a private fucking front door? Why can't I have anything be mine? Like, why do I have to share everything? Everything upstairs is yours. Everything upstairs, I know, but, like, not really. Like, I mean, like... Totally. But except for, like, the way I come home. Like, I have to share everything I do? Yes, as, as do I. It's to, and, no, you and could just go through one and I could go through the other and it could be done. It, um, it, it could be, but, but I, but from my point of view, I need a, a way to get, to get, you know, like, exam for example, if I want to eat breakfast at the little table in the backyard, I don't you want can't to... You can't just walk, you can't just walk around? No, I want to walk directly from the kitchen out here to the backyard. When I'm when I'm when I'm barbecuing, I don't want to walk all the way around. I want to walk directly from my kitchen right right back here. Well, I don't like going up this ghetto front door like this. Well, but I mean, so how about that front? But door? I don't like the slamming of the door either. Okay, well, it's, it's, as far as that goes, I want to have that fixed definitely. And and um, I thought you liked yeah. it. <laughs> um, I you know look, I have a handyman that I that I have a number of issues that that. I want to have him done. That's one thing he could do. Or we have to tell do him. that. That thing does not need to be repaired. It needs to be replaced. Well, if if that's the case, then it's then it's a job for the owner.
Yeah, I know. I already talked to her about it. It's mm -hmm. easy. But, I mean, fixing it, I mean, like, if you want to fix it, just take a file and file the door frame, or to file the door, mm -hmm. and then it won't slam anymore. But, uh, it's very, but it's falling apart. It's going to break and fall mm -hmm. apart eventually. Okay, well, I have, I have no objections to to fixing the door or, or the owner replacing it. But yeah. she said it would need to be replaced. I mean, that's what she uh -huh. said, so, I mean... Okay, well, that, you know... And that's her her problem, and and we we'll, we we'll both have to keep after her about stuff like that. Um, but but anyways, as far as as this entryway goes. Well, I mean, like I like having my own front door, or like uh, my own entrance, or whatever. Like I liked, yeah. I mean, like I don't want to have to worry about like like my box being there, and like people are gonna be crying at me about like everything that, that I do and don't do. I mean, like. It's just like I just like to be left alone and like not have to I, not so have to worry about like listen, everything so being like in people's way all the time. And so, so do I. I would. I, I look forward to to not having to to bug you or or you having to bug me about little petty things. But I mean that's why we have to talk and get these things straight from the beginning. Um. But. But yeah, I mean I don't I don't see any way way around this and the and the laundry thing is a big issue. Well, it's not that big of an issue at all. I don't see why you make it one. I mean, like, if I had my own laundry room, <laughs> my own laundry room, I don't know why anyone would be, like, trying to, like, claim the, the part of the more it's, than, like, more than the, what they pay for. It's just a good use of space to... For, to uh, we You're don't. just maximizing your dollar. I mean, like, you pay a lot less than I do, so why would you have the same square footage? It makes no sense to me at all. Does that make any sense to you? That you have more square footage. You have a two-bedroom apartment. That's that's what it comes down to. Exactly, and I pay a lot more for that. So therefore, I should have right. that. You shouldn't ha get to have like the, every single thing that I do, square foot per square foot. That makes no sense. I, I mean, how, how does that not make sense? I I can't argue with you along those lines. It, that I mean, the, the rent and the square footage and stuff that has nothing to do with me. That's that's agreed to by by the owner. We have we have to talk about it with her. It's, Okay, well, I mean, yeah, and I thought I did talk to her, and all I did was just mention, I just mentioned, like, what was the place set up for, what was the point, what was the purpose of all of it, like, do, do you have a hookup, and is he supposed to use it, or what, or what the, what's the deal, and she told me, yeah, I mean, she said she would talk to you about it, whatever, 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 so, I mean, like, I don't, I don't know how you presented it to her, but, I mean, but, I don't know how she answered you, but, I mean, like, but. She, when, when I told her that, that you had put in your own washing machine and that you had told me that you, that you, as far as you were concerned, this was your private front door, she was shocked. That's, she was, she was very surprised and, and that's, that's she gave, but, but she t specifically told me that like, this is the door key for the back door and my front door and I don't have one to the front. She like told me that specifically, and okay, and, then, well, and that's the way I was supposed to enter. And she also just two days ago told me like this is like this is like my patio area, and there's like in that that patio area, and da da da. da. Like I don't know. And she had it all like it all made sense to her then. So I mean I don't know where she where she falls short or whatever, but like or why why she doesn't like get it or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So I guess I'll just I'll talk to her again and see if maybe she remembers the conversation she had with you better than what she told you when you moved in. Because I don't know. I mean like. I don't know. Hopefully she'll figure it out soon, though, so that's all I can say. Okay, well... Oh, I bought this for you. Those are yours, too. That, fin that fogger shit. So we need to pick a day to fucking do that shit, because there's fucking bugs in this house, and it's gross. In the house? Like what? Like fucking, like, just bugs. Like, I don't know, all kinds. Really? I haven't... I haven't I've, I've, um... I, I got some little mites on that bamboo plant over there, which I was... Spring for, but you're not talking about anything related. No. no? Mm, mm. Like, uh, yeah, I've never fucking had bugs like in my fucking really? in my things. No, or but I really haven't noticed. But you're talking. Are you talking like bed bugs or something? No, or? like cockroaches and fucking uh, water bugs and fucking spiders and shit like that. Oh, I mean, I've yeah, I've noticed spiders and daddy long legs, but I haven't seen any cockroaches. So really? Yeah. Yeah, and I've never had them before. So I mean, like, look at my last places. They didn't. They didn't have them there at all. Like at all, and so uh, there is ants, but not not cockroaches. Yeah. And there's no ants here, but there's fucking cockroaches. And I'm like, what the fuck? You mean like they're like, Ugh. and I can't handle that shit. So, mm -hmm. but you can have that for fucking if you need it. Cause I mean, like she told me to fucking buy like fucking. Just she told me just to get stuff or whatever, and so I just got two of those. So you can have one, I can have one. Um. Cause yeah, I don't want it to be fucking a girl. Cause they, 
infestate or whatever, and they're gross, and I hate that shit. <laughs> so I just wanted to nip that in the bud before the fucking, mm -hmm. it got any worse, because it grosses me out. So, mm -hmm. yeah, actually, I need this. <laughs> Alright, man. Well, um, thank you for talking with me. Totally. Thanks. And, um, I'll call for a time. If you do the same, then. Yeah, I mean, like I said, hopefully she'll just get on the same page eventually, because, I mean, I mean, she has to at some point, right? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't think she's crazy, but, I mean, like, I mean, she's really nice, and, I mean, she seems pretty, like, like, uh -huh. sa like savvy and, like, normal and shit, so, I mean, I guess I mean, she just needs to, like, remember what she says. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> oh, are you shaking, girl? Okay, All right, thank you. Get up here, girl, you cold? You want to go potty, girl? Huh? Stretch it up. Huh, girl, you want to go potty? Come here. Go potty, girl. Go potty, come here, come here, come here, come here. Go potty, come here. Come here, go potty. Go potty, girl. Did you go potty? You didn't go potty yet. Go potty, girl. Go potty. Hey, girl, come here. Come here, girl. Come here. Hey. Toots. Sissy. Sissy. Hey, sissy. Hey, girl. Hey. Sissy. Get up here. No, I don't think so, Toots. Come here. You don't listen, bitch. I'm gonna kill you. Hey. I'm gonna kick your ass. Get over here right now. Get over here. Come up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bitch, come here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, little mama. Little pretty girl. Come on, Shoshana. Hey, you don't listen, do you? You little brat. Come here. Hey, if you want to hang out down here, you got to be on your leash. Come here. Come here. You little shithead. Come here. Oh my gosh. Hey, come here. No. Hey, no, come here. Get your ass over here. I don't know where you think you're going, bitch. But you better quit that shit. Miss Explorer.
Hey girl, get over here. Get away from there.